the anointing will change your taste buds. It will influence the kind of people that can be around you. Even when you don't want to pray, the prayer volcano can erupt inside of your heart. And you know it's prayer time. Summons. You are called from heaven to stand before God. You are called from heaven. You are in the office trying to do something and then there are summons. And then you need to go to the toilet as if you want to ease yourself. Summons. Because you obey, God begins to tell you the destiny of your office. That this rock, this storm is about to hit your office. But if you can stand with him, and that's where wisdom will speak to you. And they may not know that you are the reason why that office was spared. What I tell you are things I've experienced. Say, move there now! There's a crisis about to come. Oh! That's the anointing of a savior. When God begins to give you insight that can save a nation, save an office, save a family, all of that is coming out of that investment. But God must move you to be deliberate about using your refinery. Psycho Camina Zali Ovela Mola Ovela Sky Tacopena Sico Bres Kuvela Abacante Iman Tosima. I remember Jesus came to me. I was in a, a city in northern Nigeria, Zaria, and we were doing a meeting like this. And the worship became intense, and the Holy Ghost took over the worship. We began to cry. We began to cry. We began to cry. The way the Lord hijacked the meeting suggested that he was waiting for a long time for that opportunity to be given to him. And when he found it, he took over. Instantly, my eyes opened. And I saw strange things. Part of what I saw was the angel of the Lord that came to me from heaven and stood by my left side in that hall. I thought everybody could see the creature. And he said, I come with a message from heaven to you. For the Lord says you should take his presence and power to the peoples of the world. The moment he said that, I couldn't see the angel again. So it means that the refinery had reached a place. The product is manufacturing now is presence and power. That is how my supernatural ministry opened. That's how the dimensions of the supernatural open. The refinery began to produce power. If you stay long enough, he will send you a message. Ask Donatus. People that saw us praying, they say, oh, they thought these young men have lost their way. Instead of them to be looking for money, they, they are crying. They are, oh, yeah, oh. They said we have lost our way. In the same city because i was needed in several places people would, would send private jets to pick me eh? we'll finish meetings in some places they'll send private jet to pick me from there to that same city where we we're crying the demand was so much that time is, is a problem private jet need to bridge, bridge the time and i saw the kind of honor that no one can ever give you i saw it in jesus I told Satan many times, you know, I will not serve you. You know I won't serve you. So, you, and you are short of manpower. Focus your manpower on people that are, don't know. People that have not decided. Not me. You will always fail with me. You will fail. I speak to myself. I speak to God and I speak to Satan. Too. That, that, that's my own way. Speak to Satan. You will not get me. You will not get me. But we're crying. People would say, oh, see these useless boys. We didn't answer them. If you know how people try to ridicule me, they, ooh, if, you, if you can answer them, it means you are distracted. You don't know where you're going. A time came when, when I had that encounter and he said, take my presence and power to the peoples of the world, everything changed. The same people that insulted me, many of them have come to apologize. Some others pretend as if they didn't insult me and they just want to engage from that point. The, la the last discussion we had was an insult. And then you come seven years later and say, how are you doing there? You should have started by saying, we apologize for Do you know what? If you follow him, people will change their mind about you. <laughs> they will change their mind. 
For the Lord says that this revival we, that we speak of, it will be powered by young men like you and me. Not old men that are, no, that, that era has passed. That's why I'm laboring tooth and nail to ensure that the real gospel gets to you. Because we are going to run this world and turn it upside down. Yeah. Oh, they said they are witch doctors in the Volta. We will humble them in a few years. The black magicians of Nogopo will see the power of God. <laughs> the power. A time comes, no force can resist the energy that you generate from your refinery. And Africa, even the serpent of Africa will be arrested. I trust God. That something will sprout from Kumasi. A branch of the Lord will sprout out. And nothing will be able to resist it. In the name of Jesus Christ. See as I speak to you. Those angels they are coming now. They are coming. There are four things that you must never neglect. The first is praying in tongues deliberately whether it is conducive convenient or not pray deliberately pray deliberately that's the first thing the second thing is your walk of holiness the holy spirit is a holy personality and if you are working with him he will begin to show you aspects of your life that do not glorify him so that you can make adjustment your walk of holiness is key hallelujah God will bless you by righteousness, not by corruption. So if you're in an office, you have an opportunity, be right. I'm telling you, this is my life, I'm telling you. I have seen the kind of elevation from God that no man can give me. And it was by righteousness. Please help me tell your neighbor, you can win by righteousness. Number three, you must make a deliberate practice of obedience because the God we serve happens to be a king and he will be giving you directives as long as you do not consider him worthy to be obeyed you will never share in the authority of his kingdom obedience one kind of money will come into your hand when you, everything is tight and then that's when you will hear the voice of God give me that money you need to be crazy to obey but if you are that crazy god will change your life from that one strand of obedience god will change you i've seen that before i was expecting something the thing will help under the circumstances then the thing now comes and he said okay um, give, give me that thing i saved one million naira those days the ancient naira not this one to go and marry. The moment the team became one million, we were worshiping like this. And I was telling him, I've emptied everything. I'm your own. I'm holding nothing back. Then when the heart became open, then he now said, Give me the one million. And he, I heard it. <laughs> I said, No. But I had heard it. <laughs> that was what we used to buy that land and that tent. The moment I obeyed, God talked to somebody else. The person was doing the savings. They said, bring all. So it was not only me. I was comforted when I saw it was not only me. <laughs> That's how we bought that land. I didn't know that God wanted to give me he, he didn't want me to worry about money again and that was that obedience opened the door first of all someone sponsored my wedding with twice the amount that is three million three million naira of those days i gave 1.5 the wedding was three million someone sponsored it someone gave me a car my first car that was air conditioned was given to me as a gift during that same wedding then i knew that doing business with god hearing him and obey him was better than anything I could do for myself. Yeah. 
after that time will have given all kinds of things to advance his kingdom and it keeps going higher keeps going higher i tell you the truth the grace is not to the swift do not depend on your swiftness allow the mercy of god take over and you will become something that nobody in your clan nobody in your family before you has ever been hallelujah obedience obedience is very very critical obedience as you hear his voice as you perceive the things he's saying obey be foolish and you will see hallelujah finally when you see people that are under genuine pressure hmm? genuine pressure not people that are trying to get money out of you i mean this one is stranded and you know you have the ability with a little sacrifice to bring the person out of that situation make sure your hand is involved in easing men out of tight corners the reason why god will anoint you is because someone is oppressed somewhere and he needs you to use that anointing to bring the person out of oppression the reason why he will make funds available one is for his kingdom and two is for that brother that is in a tight spot that sister and he needs an intervention quickly if your hand is in their deliverance the grace is to multiply many people have used their anointings to fight people to fight destinies fight people that want to grow the moment that the person is growing they say, oh that is counterproductive but i want to be involved in your rising i want to be involved in bringing you out of a tight corner i want to be one of the people that will be there to hold your hand when you can't use your legs until your legs become strong i want to be there I want to be there hallelujah as much as we need money to do ministry things eh, i will not ask you to sow a seed if god did not approve it never so we you will see that few people put all the resources together for this those people understand sacrifice that's the way of the kingdom hmm? so that we, can, we won't come on the pulpit and say how many of you can give a hundred thousand cd no the kingdom survives by sacrifice people that understand that language those are the people that are given the opportunity to con and and people that know the language don't want to be seen they don't want to be known they don't want their names to be mentioned on the pulpit that means you are in service to god that's how we have gone around the world with the gospel true people that are willing to sacrifice not that we, not every, do you understand no and they are standing as pillars say so anywhere you go we'll push this we'll push that we'll push this so we don't need to come here and say when you grow to a certain level and god sees your heart he will give you that kind of ministry but if, until you have that ministry don't worry are you with me we have a responsibility to protect the image of the gospel because right now the average african believes that a, a, a preacher is a thief looking for ways to sell the anointing and to use his influence on the platform to get to get money out of people for for us you are wrong we want to be in your own story to bring you out of the corner that's why we are anointed and in some cases in some cases it is not an issue of the anointing in some cases it's financially it is when we get to heaven you will know how many people were pushed through the resources that came into my hand is when we go to heaven because you won't believe it if, if, if if I take time to tell you, you won't believe it. I want to be there. My hand being that hand that God uses to bring men out. And then you will know that, yes, indeed, God raised people for generations. If you are still with me, today, today, God will anoint you. Here. <laughs> if your head has been empty, something will come on it. So that you can bring help to them that are in captivity you can bring sight to the blind you can deliver people that have been hedged in in the prison yard it's not for yourself that god anointed you it's for someone else that is in captivity and god is going to anoint you tonight in the name of jesus christ
thank you for sticking to the end of this video i would love to hear from you in the comment sections if you haven't subscribed do well to hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever we post a new video thank you so much see you in the next video